drop the pressure for birthdays and holidays and New Year's Eve and all of that and just let the day be what it needs to be. Hello my loves and I'm so glad you are here today. Welcome to my birthday vlog. I am calling it. I just decided last night, you know what? I want to take little snippets from my birthday and share them on here because it's just a fun day to show and I've had some recent insights about my birthday that I wanted to share, see if it helps any of you. But I've noticed birthdays tend to have what I like to call the New Year's Eve effect where I don't know if you guys do this as well or used to do it. I've become a lot more aware and released a lot around it but with New Year's Eve and with birthdays I feel like we can put so much pressure on them to be like this perfect day, this perfect day that we've dreamed of. And when it doesn't live up to this like unrealistic expectation, you can be disappointed. I've noticed that many, many years. And this year I was like, you know what? Enough is enough. <laughs> like today I am prioritizing gratitude and presence because honestly, in this time in my life, which by the way, I just did skincare i took a shower and did skincare so that's why it may look extra glowy or maybe even greasy uh, but it doesn't matter so i've noticed this year especially in my 33rd year so i'm turning 33 today i have so much that i have been manifesting in my reality right now and i'm just like beyond grateful for that. I do not want to take that for granted for one second. And I can noticing myself doing that. It's like that mentality of like, okay, accomplish this. What's next? And I feel like birthdays are such a beautiful time to stop, pause, slow down, check back in with yourself and see what you've accomplished. See what you've done. It may not seem like that much from the outside, but I would be willing to bet that for so many of you, each birthday, you have made enormous internal and maybe external growth as well, like in the form of the physical things too, which I hate to focus on that so much because it's not really about the physical things. We want the physical things because how we think they'll make us feel when we can feel that way now. And that's how you manifest it. That's the paradox of manifesting is you have to feel like you have the thing already and then it shows up and it doesn't even really matter because you feel the way you want to feel side note, side tangent about manifesting. But I've just noticed this year, it's funny, every birthday for the past few birthdays, I've been saying, okay, by the next birthday, I will not be at my full-time job. I will be doing my own thing. And finally, this birthday, it has happened. I am doing my podcast and my business and my YouTube channel full-time. And it just feels so good. And I'm just beyond, beyond grateful. And I get to spend a lot of time with Arlo. Granted, that has been an adjustment in itself, but I love doing that. And I also don't want to take any of that for granted because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would love to spend more time with their children. And we're just in such a beautiful spot of life. We are moving into our house in a few weeks. So that's a huge life update. I don't think I've shared on the podcast or on here. We bought a house here in the St. Louis area. So I do plan on sharing a lot of that on here. And I'm just so grateful for the people around me, my family, my friends, the people that support what I do, the connections I've made. And I'm just really trying to like, soak in this time of life like there's so much beauty and magic in this time of life every time i write to my internal guidance that is what i hear like life is beautiful life is magical and i couldn't agree more so this birthday especially i'm just focusing on being so so grateful and appreciative for my life and being as present as i can and just letting today happen like i'm gonna go do things that i love but I'm not putting like unrealistic expectations that this needs to be the best day ever because a lot of times you have the best days ever when you're least expecting it. <laughs> so drop the pressure for birthdays and holidays and New Year's Eve and all of that and just let the day 
be what it needs to be and just like shower yourself in your own love for yourself and for the love of those around you. Like the people that really care about you are the ones with you celebrating your birthday and just soak up their love. And that is what I'm doing. I'm so grateful for my family. This is the first time we're like close to family for a birthday in a long time. So just soaking that up. My plan for the rest of the day is to go get my free Starbucks because you get a free Starbucks on your birthday. Of course, I'm going to take advantage of that. And then I'm going to go to Barnes and Noble because I've been dying to go get a new book. I've always loved Barnes and Noble since I was a little girl. Our parents used to take us there like after dinner and we would just roam around like the smells, the sounds, the music that they play, just the vibes. <laughs> I'm so excited to spend the afternoon there. Hopefully Arlo likes it as well. And then I'm probably just going to cook dinner because we went out to eat last night. We got hibachi and it was so fun. Just Steven and I. So I'm just going to cook a yummy meal that I like to cook because I actually enjoy cooking nowadays. And then I think I'm going to watch Practical Magic tonight because I absolutely love that movie. It's Halloween vibes. My birthday is like, what is it? Six days? Five days before Halloween. I had to do that quick math. So you know I'm a Halloween girl. It's one of my favorite Halloween movies. So we're going to watch that. I think Steven's going to watch it with me because he's never seen it and just have a really cozy day. It sounds like the perfect day to me. So come along with me as we continue to have a cozy fall, beautiful outside, beautiful weather day as we celebrate the rest of my birthday. Also, one more thing I wanted to share before I forget because it may be useful for you when you're celebrating your birthday, but every year I have the motto for myself and for Stephen, his birthday is a few weeks after mine. Like life gets better and better. Every year life gets better. And since I've been saying that, it's so true. Like every birthday, I'm like, life's getting better and better. And this birthday, by the way, I am nowhere near where I thought I would be. I thought I would be in the RV, somewhere remote, just like living our best lives nomadically, right? Which I still feel like I'm living my best life. I'm not in an RV. I'm in my in-laws right now, but we are about to move into our beautiful home here in the St. Louis area. And I'm doing the things I love hopefully affecting people's lives in a positive way, helping other people live the most aligning, fulfilling, and present lives that they can. And I'm just so grateful. So like let life surprise you too. Maybe your next birthday, you will be somewhere totally different than you think you will be, but it will be even better. Like this or something better is a really good motto to have as well. So I hope that helps you. Mm -hmm.